Hi, welcome to our devotional today. Our to this is the third from last of our um, Advent devotions, and we're going to focus today on the sixth antiphon, or the, well, it's the fifth antiphon, the sixth verse of O Come, O Come, Emmanuel, and it goes like this. O come, thou day spring, come and cheer our spirits by thine advent here. Disperse the gloomy clouds of night, and death's dark shadows put to flight. Rejoice, rejoice, Emmanuel, shall come to thee, O Israel. Wow, don't we need that verse today? Come, thou day spring, come and cheer. Now, the day spring, Jesus is referred in the Bible often as the day spring. And day spring literally means morning light or um, rising sun, that first piercing light that you see at the very beginning of the day. And how... Um, the day spring breaks forth from the night and gives you that first feeling of this is a new day. If you've ever been up on the top of a mountain or camping where it's absolutely dark and you look out and you see that very first glimpse of daylight, that's what we're talking about here in this verse. That Jesus' light shines in the darkness and when we get just even a glimpse of it, it tells us, it reminds us that yes, this is a new day. This is a new time that we can experience and that we can appreciate that God will change. We see it because we see the light that comes forward each morning. And so I think our prayer for all of us for today, for the years, for the rest of the year is to see the light shining, that little bit of light that shines in the darkness that breaks through the clouds and to appreciate how valuable just that little bit of light can be. Now today's Bible passage is from Luke chapter 1, verses 76 to 80. You, child, will be called a prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way. You will tell his people how to be saved through the forgiveness of their sins. Because of our God's deep compassion, the dawn from heaven will break upon us to give light to those who are sitting in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide us on the path of peace. The child grew up, becoming strong in character. He was in the wilderness until he began his public ministry in Israel. Come day spring and give us light. Amen.